I'm going to start by introducing the Pythagoras theorem. I'm not sure if everyone's heard of this before, but this is a theorem derived by a mathematician called, with the last name of Pythagoras. This is the little theorem that he came up with. In any right angle triangle that looks like this, and it has two sides A, B, and the hypotenuse C. Remember the longest side that's opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse? So I'm going to call that C. Okay, so make sure you know that what the hypotenuse is. The rule is the two other sides, so A, B, A squared plus B squared, you square them each and you add them up, it's going to be equal to C squared. Okay, the hypotenuse squared. So that's the method we're going to be using, that's the rule that we're going to be using for the next few questions. So see where there is a right angle and we could apply this theorem. Okay, so make sure you only applies for a right angle or triangle only. All right. So let's start. Question one. Determine whether the following are Pythagorean triads. Okay, now here's a new little thing that I'm going to tell you. It's called the Pythagorean triads. Now these are, when you're given three numbers, it follows like a Pythagoras theorem. So remember, the longest side is the hypotenuse. So in this case, the longest side must be five, right? Because that's the largest number. If it follows a Pythagorean triad, then three squared plus four squared must equal to five squared. So let's start with the three squared plus four squared first. Add them up guys, three squared is nine and four squared is 16, right? It should be 29 plus 16, which is 25, isn't it? Now we all know that five squared is also 25. Are they equal? Yes, they are. So three squared plus four squared is five squared. It follows the Pythagoras theorem, which means it is a Pythagorean triad. Okay, so we say just say yes. All right, that's all you need to do. So it's very, very simple. Let's try another one. Okay, in this case, what's the hypotenuse gonna be? So what's the largest number? It's nine. So we must have seven squared plus eight squared equal to nine squared. So let's start with this one. That's 49 plus 64, and you add them up, that's what I have. Now nine squared is 81. Guys, compare, are they the same? They are not the same, they are not exactly, they're not identical. So therefore it is not a Pythagorean triad. Okay, that's all you need to do. What's the largest side in this one? It's obviously 13. So five squared plus 12 squared must be equal to 13 squared. That's 25 plus 144, which gives you something like this. And we know that 13 squared is 169. Are they equal? Yes, they are. So we say they're equal, therefore yes. That's all you need to say, okay? So it's very, very simple. So just mess, just make sure you remember the Pythagoras theorem.